The Dead Mines has mobs range from level 16 to 21 and it has 5 quests associated with it that can be picked up as early as level 15. First let's go over all the quests, then take a look at the quest rewards and boss loot. Underground Assault first requires you to speak to Norn and Ironforge next to the Deep Run Tram and then you need to travel to the Dwarven District and Stormwind where Shoney the Shylent will give you the quest. While you're in the Dwarven District, head over to this bar and speak with Wyrdal Thissernettle where he'll give you both quests Collecting Memories and Oh Brother at level 15. Now let's head to Westfall and receive our last two quests. Red Silk Bandanas actually has a few prerequisite quests you must complete before you can accept it. Pick up the quest Red Leather Bandanas from Scout Galleon in Citadel Hill and retrieve 15 red bandanas from the surrounding Defias in Westfall. After you've completed this quest, you then need to work on the Defias Brotherhood quest chain. This chain begins at Grian Stout Mantle in Citadel Hill and requires you to then travel to the Inn in Red Ridge Mountains and speak to Wily the Black. He'll then send you back to Grian and then you need to travel to Stormwind and go to the SI7 district and speak to Master Matthias Shaw. Go back to Grian and then go retrieve a mysterious message from the Defias Messenger who walks up and down the westmost pathway in Westfall. He begins in the Dead Mines and works his way up the zone. After this, return to Grian and escort the Defias Trader to the Dead Mines. After successfully escorting him, return to Grian and receive the last quest to the chain, the Defias Brotherhood. Now you can accept red silk bandanas from Scout Riel at the top of this tower and begin your Dead Mines run. The last quest you're going to receive is inside this dungeon off of Edwin Van Cleef. The Alliance will need to return this letter to Barros Alexton and Stormwind where you'll then get the follow-up quest Basil Thread for the Stockades and eventually get your Seal of Rin Ring at the end of the quest chain. Now let's take a look at the quest rewards. The Staff of Westfall and Sable Wand are the most notable quest rewards in this batch. These will be the most impactful items for classes that can use them and the Red Silk Bandanas quest rewards some nice weapons for the unlucky soul who goes through a Deadmines run without receiving a weapon upgrade. So let's take a look at the boss loot. 7 out of the 8 normal bosses in Dead Mines have a chance to drop some sort of weapon upgrade, and the other gear are nice additions to your character, such as the lavishly jeweled ring, and even an aesthetic piece, the Siamese cat from Cookie, but these pieces of gear normally get replaced pretty quickly by other content and don't make nearly as big of an impact on your player's performance as much as weapons do during the leveling process. First up we've got Roxor, who normally drops a white two-handed mace, and people rarely ever see his green rock slicer drop. If Minor Johnson spawned, you really hope he drops his blue shield, which is a huge upgrade for any tanking warriors or paladins running through the dead mines. And Sneed Shredder and Sneed are two boss encounters in one, and they both end up dropping some loot. Sneed Shredder normally drops a white dagger, and Sneed has a chance to drop a beastie two-handed axe loaded with some spirit for some fat health regeneration. Now, people normally want to see Gildan drop his blue ring because at this level, it's literally an upgrade for everyone in the group. I kid you not, even the rogues are going to want to need on this ring. Get the blacklist ready, boys and girls. I'm never running a dungeon with that guy again. Mr. Smite can drop his weapons that he dual wields during the fight. We got a one-handed sword, a one-handed axe, or he has the chance to drop a fat two-handed blue mace. Cookie's dropping either a one-handed green mace or the highest DPS wand available at this level range, and additionally, she's always got a slight chance to drop the Siamese kitty cat. Our second to last boss, Captain Greenskin, this guy can drop either a leather belt, a green polearm, or a nice juicy blue staff. And then, of course, we got Edwin Van Cleef. He has four different items on his loot table. We're talking either a cloth chest piece, a cloak with agility and stam, black and defias armor, or one of the most desirable drops, the Cruel Barb. That's all I got for this dungeon guide. If you enjoyed, help your boy out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more in-depth guides and dungeon design analysis once Classic comes out. Go tell your mother you love her. Peace.